to take seriously uh, the great command, right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, when I think about the parable of the Good Samaritan, which is supposed to be an expression, if you will, of this kind of wonderful love command, we see uh, something that does seem as if it is a uh, kind of a personal encounter, but I do think it has large implications for how we think about questions of social justice. Uh, one aspect that you are, uh, say an aspect that you see out of the parable of the Good Samaritan is this idea uh, that the Samaritan who saw this wounded person on the road uh, saw, first of all, uh, that particular person was proximate, close enough to see that there was a need. And the scriptures talk about that particular individual, the Samaritan was moved with compassion, right, uh, to act in a particular way. Uh, the idea is, is that unless that person was close enough or approximate to see the other individual, that that empathy that moves towards action would not have been generated. Uh, the individual took, uh, the Samaritan took uh, his own resources to attend to this wounded person and then recognized that within his own resources, he did not have enough to take care of the full needs of this particular individual who was found on the Jericho Road. Uh, and so what did he do? He took this person uh, to Jericho where he could receive some additional help. And what's fascinating about this uh, parable, I think this teaching of Jesus, what it means to love and to try to identify who our neighbors uh, are, uh, is that he told the innkeeper, he says, look, um, if there are any more costs that are incurred uh, at the you know, end of all of this, I will sell up with you <laughs> at the end. Now that's fascinating and that's intriguing and sometimes I think it's often missed a little bit uh, because the idea is, as some scholars, biblical scholars have pointed out, um, that this individual, if he had any debt remaining, could have been sold into debt slavery. And so after all that the Samaritan has done, this individual still could have been worse off than uh, than when he you know, had this encounter uh, on the Jericho Road. And so some would say that this is an aspect of, um, for lack of a better way of putting it, maybe restorative justice, right? There's a form of justice that goes the extra mile, that connects again this whole idea of love and justice. And so I think the way that uh, people or uh, God's people uh, can be more, um, can embrace this vision social justice by taking the love command seriously and recognizing how it is rooted uh, in the gospel of grace that is found in Jesus Christ. Uh, in the biblical narrative, you can't say, well, the, there's a, uh, the same word group for righteousness and justice. So we can't talk about you know, God's righteousness or our own personal righteousness without also talking about questions of justice as well. And so I think that if we ever try to detach these ideas, these concepts, and the practices that are based on these ideas and theological concepts, we actually uh, are not embracing the wholeness of the gospel of, of Jesus Christ.